new ball has uh, been retrieved. They do all sorts of funny things these days. There's a fellow down there in China. And Peter Willey is the man who had the job of... Uh, well, you need to have fairly long arms. One of the requirements of umpires these days. To thrust your finger into the sky to give a fellow out. Or to get down four or five feet to uh, extract the ball. Well, he's the number one striker, Alan Donald. He didn't bowl well yesterday. Had an ankle injury. Really rift this morning for South Africa. That's the big question. Normally they do. When you give a great bowler a challenge, they normally respond. Two slips a gully in. Regulation field. Not an over-attacking field. No bad pad. Stephen Moore. Oh, he gets him almost straight away. That hurt. That was a good delivery. Whacking Stephen Moore somewhere in the back. Cut back off the seam. That was beautifully bowled. There's a bit of extra bounce there with the new ball. That's what did it. It uh, may well have hit on the seam as well. But it came back so sharply at Steve Moore. He had no chance to get out of the road. Actually, he didn't play it all that badly. It looks painful. But uh, he kept his bat out of the road. But that's the main thing. You don't want your bat... Uh, anywhere near the ball with something like that but uh, oh it did jag back Mark Wallace also I think that was in the air off the bat was it or the glove Donald was very keen to get down and retrieve it couldn't make it on the fall all of a sudden the new ball having an effect first time some doubt in the minds of the Australian batsman the bat pads coming in because Donald getting the ball to move and bounce off the seam Mark was on 95 Oops, and there's that nervous yeah. wish. He does worry him, Donald. He certainly got the wood on Mark Wall a little bit. It's a rush shot. And that was cleverly bowled. We had the two jagging there back off the seam. And uh, then the next one, what was meant to be the away swinger and outside off stump. He was late for the stroke, which is a good thing. Oops, and he's, so he's sorting him out, isn't he? The man's 95, he's hit Stephen at the other end now. He's giving Mark Wall a bit of a tickle up. More than a tickle. Yes, bounce there again. This is why you call it test cricket, isn't it? He's testing Mark Wall. Second new ball, Steve comes down. Steve's probably very glad to be at the non-strikers end, by the way. This is a very good delivery. Caught him out of position, struck him on the helmet. No damage done. And we bowl one wide of the off stump and hope for the slash again. He doesn't, oh, there it goes. Well, he's been unlucky, wasn't he? Didn't have the extra catcher in. What an over. What a comeback by Donald. Three for 212. Well bowled. He's got him too. They get away. I think this will be a leg by. Wait for the call. Leg by from umpire Peter Willey. The new ball doing a bit. Well, it's, it certainly is. It's uh, been one of the best short periods. Only uh, seven balls bowled so far. No one's got one off uh, any part of the bat except the edge. And, uh, it's tough going out there. He's making a move. The mid-on's coming, I think, now to leg go. It's a little bit like after the... The horse is bolted, but it's better late than never. I think we can put that down to David Richardson. He went and had a uh, long talk to Hansi Cronier in between uh, the change of overs. And uh, Cronier raced down to Donald. And now we have the leg gully. Oh, what a good well, delivery. Well, well, you see. wouldn't believe it, would you? They look like they've on naught and naught, the War Brothers. Donald getting the ball to seam back in, squaring up Stephen Moore again. Steve Moore doesn't hook, so he's got to try and get out the run. He doesn't normally very well. This ball jagging back a long time and in all sorts of trouble, wasn't he? That's well, that's well beautiful done. bowling. I don't think you see much square driving at the moment, unless it's off Sean Pollock with his away swinger. This is high-class stuff from Alan Donald. Yeah. 
short enough so as the batsman uh, has to play either across the crease or back and a great deal of movement back from outside the off stump he's considering yesterday he was disappointing donald this morning he's really responding to the call oh catch was a cry it's got him again this is superb fast bowling three for 215 the captain takes the second new ball and the great bowler responds he's just softening up Stephen War at the moment Ball has forgotten that Mark War is on 96 it's been all Alan Donald the last uh, 10 minutes that's Pollock glance that could be it could go for four well played Mark War his 12th test hundred He played a leg glance to bring up the 100 for Mark War. Found the gap nicely, raced away for four. It's third test 100 against South Africa. To a ball of that kind. Well, ball close. That's got in. That's what they needed. That was up. That swung. Pollock does the damage. Superb effort by the South African fast bowlers. They softened them up, and finally, he traps Mark War plumb in front. Looked absolutely plumb, and it was up, so the batsman had to play forward out of it. If you've got the new ball, you must uh, try to take advantage of the swing and the movement. And uh, that looks as plumb as you'll ever find. It was a bit of a walking shot as well, but he's uh, walking back now with 100 against his name. And he's back. Four for 219. Alan Donald continues. Steve War on strike. Ricky Ponting has just discovered the worst time possible to walk out to bat in a test match. That's in the drinks break. Everybody's uh, attention is diverted. They're all, or uh, well, not all, but some heading off for a drink themselves. And just a ripple of applause as he walked out to bat. That's a good shot. Beats Herschel Gibbs. And away to the boundary. for 223 didn't quite get across as uh, they might have wished good shot Adams won't get it five runs off the over four for 311 Ponting gets a full toss and he gives it everything. There it goes into the lady stand. Well, first of all, Mark Warren, now Ricky Ponting, saying you can't bowl a rank full toss to me. Good hit. Got well, a few tosses, a few full tosses, Pat Simcox, and uh, some of them weren't harshly dealt with early on, but they have been since Mark War started to hit him out into the crowd. Watch him get into it. Whack. Always going to be six. Got him! There, the good bowler strikes. Probably on an hour late than he should have been, but he's got Stephen Wall with a good delivery. He bowled it straight, he kept at him, and finally got through. Wall, clean bowl for 85. But maybe too late for the South Africans. Where's he been? Uh, on now at 10 minutes past three getting the wicket but uh, it is just a bit late better to get uh, Steve War out very dangerous man and in form made 85 and a good delivery from Alan Donald but he's been sparingly used today to say the very least five for three one seven 